Brothers and sisters, I want to tell you something. That there is a storm coming. There is an issue coming. A huge one. And you need to be so prepared. And you need to be known, knowing how exactly you are going to do things. And the Bible has told us over and over again that God is going to take care of us. He's going to take care of his people. He's going to be there for us. He's not going to let us down because he's a master of storms. And there's a big storm coming. Many people don't understand this. Many people don't get this. But the year 2022 is not going to be business as normal. My friends, I know many are celebrating Christmas and they're saying, yeah, it's going to be a great year ahead. But Deep down in the spirit of all the people who read the word of God, they know very well that there is a storm coming. Hard times are going to come. Huge things are going to happen. And things that no man's uh, way of understanding can be able to, to comprehend. Remember, there's this whole thing which is going on through the world and people don't yet understand. Many are not going to phantom this. Many people who are in the church are going to be caught unawares. Just like the Bible says, men's hearts will fail for fear, knowing what is about to come. You just imagine and you just realize what you've gotten into yourself, what you've gotten into your body and you cannot get it out. And you're there, you're stressed, you're confused, you're wondering, now what is next? Let me tell you, my friends, storm is coming and it's going to sweep so many people whose houses are built upon a sand. If you're building your house upon a sand, upon false doctrines, upon false beliefs, upon what you do, upon different things, upon people. You see, uh, there are so many people right now who are relying on on people to tell them what to do. They're not relying on the word of God. They're relying on my friend told me, my pastor told me, my, my bishop told me. Th this guy, he's a believer. He reads the Bible. He told me. My friends, if your strength is not built upon the rock, the rock which is Jesus Christ, if your house is not upon the rock, you're going to be swept away by what is coming. There's a huge storm which is going to sweep out people in this coming year. And I want to encourage you, and you should know how to escape the storm. There's only one man who can help you escape that storm. What does the Bible say in the book of Psalms, chapter 107, from verse 28 to 31? Listen to what the Bible says. Yet when they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, the Lord brought them out of their distress. He calmed the storm, and his waves quieted down. God can quiet your storms. He's going to give you strength. He's going to give you power to escape. He's going to give you that, that, that uh, uh, faith which surpasses all understanding, that quietness, that, that, uh, that moment of when people are in distress, you're going, to be, you're going to be so much empowered. When they take you, they're pulling you and pinning you to the prisons and, and, they're, and, they're, and they're stuffing you in lorries and they're, and they're saying, because you have refused to take the mark, we're going to get hold of you. My friends, what did the Bible say? Jesus himself, he said that uh, when uh, the authorities will get a hold of you. Do not worry about what you're going to say. Don't even try to plan what you're going to tell them because the Holy Spirit is going to put words in your mouth when the time is right and what you're going to say, nobody will be able to refute. My friends, when the storm comes, you know where to rely on. You know who can quiet the storm. It is God himself. Then the Bible continues and says, so they rejoiced that the waves became quiet and he led them to their desired heaven. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his gracious love and for his awesome deeds on behalf of mankind. God is trying to do something good to you. But most people don't understand. Many people think because... Uh, I, I, I want to stop doing this. I want to stop doing this. I want to stop my, my behavior of this. I want to stop. My friends, you need to stop nothing. All you need to do is believe. Do you do this? Do you do that? No, don't worry. Don't worry. All you need to do is believe. It is the word, work of the Holy Spirit to clean you up, to clean you up, to clean you up, and to start regenerating you from all the things that you really enjoyed, which were sinful. It is not the work of you to stop sinning. It is the work of the Holy Spirit when he comes inside your heart to help you get out from all those things. If you used to give 10 lies in a day, 
When you get saved, you will start giving nine lies, eight lies, seven lies, five lies. By the time you realize, my friend, you don't even like lying to anyone. Because the Holy Spirit has come inside you and is cleaning you up every day. He's regenerating you. Did you hear what Jesus said? That the harlots and the publicans will see the kingdom of heaven before some of you. Why? Because them, they are coming to Christ by belief. They are saying, God, I cannot, I cannot get out from this. It is only you who can save me. God, please, could you help me in my situation? Look at my situation. Could you give me hope? Could you clean me up? And they put their faith in Christ. But many people right now in church, they are putting their faith on themselves. They think, I can, I can be the best. I can work out it. I work out this by, by myself. I, I, want to stop, I want to stop stealing. Then I come to God. Who told you you're going to have the power to stop stealing? Who told you you're going to have the power to stop uh, 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 lying for, uh, for people? Who told you you have the power to stop doing all the evil things that you do? When you believe, look at the thief of the cross. Did he have time to go and give back what he had stolen? Did he have time to go and apologize? Did he have time to go to the church and give tithes and offerings? No, he had only time to believe. Only time to believe. He had only time to believe on Jesus Christ. He knew that he was a sinner. All you need to do, my friends, is understand that you're a sinner in need of a Savior. And you tell the Savior, Savior, please, I can't save myself. I am worn out. I can't save myself. Please save me. How? And he just tells you to believe. The moment you believe that Jesus died for your sins, he was buried and rose again according to the scriptures, then my friends, immediately you understand and you believe, then you're a new creature. You're born again. You don't need to say a word. Because believing is from the heart. Yes, you can confess. Why do we confess? We confess so that we say what is in our hearts. The Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. You speak out what is already in your heart, what you have already believed. You just don't say mere words and say, God, please, now save me. This, But your heart is not there. And how is it going to be in your heart? It is by believing. My friends, a storm is coming. You need to tell people a huge storm is coming. And they need to know where to find their help. Because if you're building your house on sand, you're trying to get as much money as possible so that you can save yourself when that time comes. Let me tell you, money is good, but it will not save you from what is coming. These things are good, but they are not going to save anyone. Very, very soon, you'll not be able to even rent a house without the mark. You'll not even be able to drive your own car without the mark. You'll not be able to enter into a shop, into a supermarket. The other day, I was in the supermarket just, just here in Mombasa. I got into a supermarket and I, was, and I was told, no, you cannot enter here because where is your mark? Where, where are your papers? We... You cannot enter here. You cannot buy groceries. And I was like, you're kidding me. They told me, yeah. Yeah, you can't enter here. Where is your mark? My friends, you need to wake up. You need to wake up. God bless you and know that a storm is coming.